What is going on everybody? It is Treeb from Treeb Talks here and today what we are starting is the position outlooks for the Jacksonville Jaguars heading into the 2020 season and again hopefully there is a 2020 season because I'm tired of seeing the comments not necessarily only on YouTube mostly on Facebook because this link gets shared on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all over social media and most of the comments are on Facebook where a lot of people are saying there's not even going to be a 2020 season why are you even listing off uh, possibilities of there being a 2020 season it's because on this channel we like to remain optimistic that's one thing that Treep has been his whole entire career on this channel is nothing but optimistic so that is what we are going to be on this channel we're going to act like a 2020 season is still going to be going on and we're going to start things off with position outlooks at this time right now we usually would be breaking down training camp and doing position outlooks would just be about ending at this point right now but due to circumstances this is where we're going to be starting our position outlooks heading into the 2020 season and we're going to be starting off with one of the most obvious clear-cut position groups for the Jaguars heading into the 2020 season and that is the quarterback position a position group that was up in the air last year a position group that was chanting for Gardner Minshew to start during the Titans and the Colts game and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers game last season when Nick Foles was shitting the bed and everybody wanted to see the man with the mustache come in, the man with the plan, and he ended up coming in and doing extremely well, well enough to come in and get the starting job for the next season. Now, is he going to do bad enough to where the Jags are going to get the number one overall pick and tank for Trevor Lawrence? Or is Gardner Minshew going to do just enough to keep them out of that race and be able to have a successful 2020 campaign? What about the other quarterbacks on the Jaguars roster? We're going to stay here and talk about it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the 2020 Jacksonville Jaguars position outlook for the quarterback position. So like I said in the beginning, Gardner Minshew definitely is the clear-cut starting quarterback out of this position group for the Jacksonville Jaguars heading into the 2020 season. The only interesting name in this quarterback group is obviously Mike Glennon, and Mike Glennon's only really going to see the field if there is going to be a preseason, and if... Garner Minshew really, really does shit the bed, and he does not perform up to his abilities. Uh, if the Jags start off the season something like 0-5, 0-6, you might see a little bit of Mike Glennon action. They also drafted Jake Lutton, and they have Josh Dobbs as well. Jake Lutton and Josh Dobbs will not see the field. One of them will probably end up getting cut as well. So uh, those two guys I don't think are even worth talking about, unfortunately. So this is really going to be a Mike Glennon and uh, Gardner Minshew video. Mike Glennon, obviously he signed the uh, veteran minimum to join the Jacksonville Jaguars, and I think this was a smart move by the Jaguars to sign Mike Glennon as a backup quarterback. I think Mike Glennon, you know, is a guy that if you are tanking, if that's your angle, if that's what you want to do, then I think Mike Glennon is a quarterback that if Minshew shits the bed, that you throw in there, and isn't going to win you a lot of games because he doesn't really do a lot for you. He's older. He doesn't have a cannon for an arm. He's just been kind of sticking around the league as a backup quarterback for a really long time. He's never done anything fantastic. He will tank for you. He's not going to win you games. And he will lose you games because he's not fantastic. And he's going to be another quarterback that's just going to hand Leonard Fournette the ball. He's going to average two yards a carry. And it's going to be like watching old Jaguar teams of past years where they are not exciting to watch, they are very boring to watch, and it is going to be very, very tough for us Jags fans to stomach another one of those seasons. So that's about the extent that I want to go talking about Mike Glennon. I don't think Mike Glennon is going to see the field very much unless Gardner Minshew absolutely shits the bed. But what I want to do right now is I want to address every person that is doubting Gardner Minshew right now. I've done this multiple times, not only on on a video format and not only you know with other people i've done it with jason um in a duet video that we did together uh on his channel on my channel i've done it with john shipley as well from uh i've done it with john shipley as well and you know we've done i've done countless videos talking about how much of a gardner Minshew defender i am and you know I, i'm usually like this with a lot of jaguar quarterbacks i was like this with blake portals as well gardner Minshew will not be the reason 
the Jaguars will be bad this year. That's all I'm saying. If the Jaguars do end up getting the first overall pick, I do not see a world in which it's going to be Gardner Minshew's fault that that happens. Because you look at what he did last year, there wasn't a whole lot of things that were his fault. Gardner Minshew is a quarterback that is extremely smart. You see his Wonderlick score, he scored on top of his draft class. And you look at him when he throws the ball, you don't have to hold his breath. You don't have to hold your breath when he drops back to throw. When he throws the ball, he knows where he's going. He reads the defense well. And if he has time to throw the ball, he's going to get it to the right guy. And even if he doesn't have time to throw the ball, he can move out of the pocket. And when he moves out of the pocket, that's when he makes his most exciting plays is out of the pocket. And he can find an open receiver there. And he can make plays with his legs and make exciting top 10 Sports Center top 10 plays from outside the pocket as well and score touchdowns that way too. So I just don't understand the doubt of Gardner Minshew. I don't understand the doubt of Gardner Minshew coming from Jaguar fans especially because I see it. I see it from Jaguar fans and you would think that those are the people that would understand that Gardner Minshew is not going to be the problem for the Jacksonville Jaguars next year. I think there's a lot of question marks on the defense, and you're going to see that once we go over the defensive position outlooks uh, for the Jaguars heading into 2020 once we get to the defensive position groups. But as far as the offense goes, I mean, there's playmakers all over the field, and the Jaguars signed some, you know, key playmakers as well um, in certain positions of need on the offensive side of the ball. I think Tyler Eifert was a huge acquisition for the Jags. I think he's going to be a great addition for a guy like Gardner Minshew, and he's a guy that Jay Gruden has worked with in the past, and if Jay Gruden and Gardner Minshew have been working together, you know, this offseason, whether that be together, a Zoom call, whatever it is, you know, they know that they have to get Tyler Eifert involved, and Gardner does too, and that's going to be a veteran presence on the offense, something that the Jags have needed for a while. And, you know, even though Mercedes Lewis was that, you know, Tyler Eifert comes in, another veteran tight end, helping a young quarterback develop. Gardner did not have a veteran presence on that offense last year, still managed to throw over 3,000 yards, 20 touchdowns. His completion percentage wasn't the best last year. That's one thing he's going to have to improve on. His completion percentage has to be there. Some dropped balls, some balls that were misplaced, I will agree. He didn't throw a lot of interceptions. He overthrew some balls. Some balls all weren't there. But not all of his throws were as ugly as Blake Bortles' throws. Gardner Minshew's throws were not as ugly as past Jaguar quarterback throws that we have seen. Not even close. That's what I, you know, going back to what I said earlier about you don't have to hold your breath when Gardner drops back to throw because you know when he drops back and the ball leaves his hands, you know it's going to be somewhere in the vicinity of the wide receiver because he's smart and he knows where to go with the football. And Jay Gruden is an experienced play caller. Again, something that the Jags haven't had in a while because they keep taking chances on guys that they shouldn't take chances on that aren't as experienced. Nathaniel Hackett, Jed Fish, etc., etc., etc. You get a guy like Jay Gruden in the building to come in and try and save Doug Marone's job. This is, you know... This is a saving grace year for a lot of guys in this Jaguars front office. They can't afford to fuck things up this year, especially on the offensive side of the ball. And like I said in my last video, this is for the first time in what seems like a long time, the offensive side of the ball seems like it's better than the defensive side of the ball. You got two of the best players on the team on the offensive side of the ball, Leonard Fournette, DJ Chark, two guys that I think will be team captains next year, and two guys that I think will be difference makers on the offensive side of the ball, and two guys that are going to take a lot of pressure off of Gardner Minshew. Gardner also has a lot of targets outside of DJ Chark. Young guys like LaVishka Chenault, Colin Johnson, Chris Conley, Keelan Cole, D.D. Westbrook. The list goes on, man. This is a deep wide receiver core, and I'm going to have a lot of positive things to say about these wide receivers 
uh, when we do our wide receiver position outlook because there are tons of wide receiver talent that the Jaguars currently have on its roster that is going to perform and is going to shine for Gardner Minshew because Gardner Minshew has a lot of talent around him. And he had a lot of talent around him at Washington State at the wide receiver position, and he had a guy that was calling plays that is very similar in a playing style to a guy like Jay Gruden. I think Gardner Minshew is going to have a very, very successful 2020 campaign, and he is going to show the doubters wrong, and the Jags are not going to have the first overall pick. Because, like, like, think about it. Think about it. Even if the Jags do terrible, do you really think the Jags are going to do that? Do you think the Jags are going to be that, like, be good enough to be that bad? You know what I mean? Like, no. Like, the Jags aren't even good at tanking. Like, the Jags won't even do that. Like, like you know what I mean? Like, they always do good enough to get, like, the third or the fourth pick. They will never, ever do good enough to get the first overall pick. So, kiss that dream goodbye anyway. I don't care what these experts say. It almost feels like these experts don't watch the Jags play. It's almost like these experts think Gardner Minshew is, like, a nobody. Just because he didn't get nominated. And, like, that's what I'm saying, too. The nomination committee for whatever, whoever you are, for the rookie of the year, the offensive rookie of the year, all that shit, can't even believe he didn't even nominate Gardner Minshew. Slap to the absolute face on that one. I still cannot even believe he didn't even get a nod for the nomination. If he got a nomination, I don't even think the Jags would be in the discussion. The fact that the Jags are considered, like, to be the worst team next year over teams like, let's even, the Washington, okay, well, today they're not the Redskins anymore. I don't even know if I can say that on my channel without getting flagged. The Washington whatever, like, they're, I don't think they're worse than the Jags. I mean, I don't think the Jags are worse than them. I, I don't. I don't. I don't. I mean, the Jags won't be worse than them. Book that. I mean, we go down the list, the AFC East, the Jets. I don't think they're worse than the Jets. I don't. You know, there's some teams in the league that I think the Jags are way more talented than. And just because of the market size and a six-round quarterback, that did better than a lot of your precious first-round quarterbacks did. Mitch Trubisky, Sam Darnold. Look at all these guys. Look at all these guys that were taken in the first round. Dwayne Haskins. Let's list them off. All these first-round quarterbacks that you want to praise and highlight. Gardner Minshew did better than all of them in their first year. And he played less games. Stop dissing Gardner Minshew because he's going to take the league by storm. And you're going to figure it out real quick when he leads the Jaguars to the playoffs. And that was the Jaguars 2020 position outlooks for the quarterbacks. So what did you guys think? Leave your comments down below. Don't forget to check the links down below as well. You can like me on Facebook at Troop Talks. Follow me on Twitter at Troop Talks. Follow me on Instagram at Trey Fawn Tixley. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Click the bell icon so you get notified every single time I drop a new video. I drop new content on this channel six days a week. Ain't nobody out working me. Them's just straight facts. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And as always, you guys have a great rest of your day.